Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alex with Junk and Disorderly. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. I am a part-time reseller trying to go full-time and I buy things from garage sales, thrift stores, and flip them online like Poshmark, eBay, and Macari, Depop, Etsy for a profit. So if you like reseller content, please stick around. Okay, so I have a little new setup here. It has a microphone and a light, and the light is super bright and blinding, so I'm going to try to be staring directly into the camera so it doesn't look like I'm staring at myself or staring at the light, but I, I don't know how this is gonna work. It's making my eyes water, so this quick 10 minute video might turn into a two hour long editing video because I can't seem to keep my eyes open. <laughs> Well, anyway, so I have a haul here. It's like a collective haul from garage, a couple of garage sales, a couple of thrift stores, and yeah, I think it's over, I think I've had this pile for like a week or two weeks. I had some backed up inventory that I had to take pictures and get listed, so yeah. So anyway, um, the first item that I picked up is this vintage uh, small soldiers kids costume. I love this small soldiers movie and so do my kids. Um, but when I picked this up, I thought this would be a good find. I'm still not sure if it's going to be a good find because I realized that it does not have the mask. It is brand new with tags and here's the tags. It retailed for 20 bucks and it does say DreamWorks on the back 1998. Hopefully this new light that I have is not making a huge glare. So it's gonna take some time to get a little used to. But yeah, it's vintage, 1998 on the back. It is a kid size four to six. Actually, it's a size seven to 10. Um, but my son is 12, he's too big for this. So hopefully this will sell good. And a lot of the small soldier like toys and stuff um, actually sells for quite a bit of money. I just don't know if there's going to be a market for a kid's costume. If this was an adult costume, it might actually do a little bit better. But anywho, I'll research that later and maybe hopefully soon come back with sold comps. So the next item, oh, and I think I took all the tags off, but I think that one was between like four to five dollars. So the next item I have is a Sundance now this whole lighting setup i'm not sure how this is gonna look so um i have a sundance size large tag here and i know i mentioned before in previous videos i don't like to pick up was it sundance or the other one that's similar to sundance i can't remember off the top of my head but i don't like to pick up all sundance because not all of it sells that good so this is like a light chambray uh, top. It does have like this um, lace detail here. I thought this was really cute. Um, it has like these boho sleeves, not necessarily for the upcoming fall, but this still should sell pretty okay. I would say anywhere between the 20 and $35 range, sometimes Sundance. Um, it can vary quite a bit, just depends on the item. So I know I mentioned this brand in my last video and I actually found a piece at another thrift store, which is a, a Vintage Faded Glory, which is a Walmart. Vintage Faded Glory, and I believe this one was, was this leather, yes. So this is Vintage Fade of Glory, 100% suede leather, and it's this super cool uh, leather jacket. So we have like, let's see if I can show it properly. Um, so we have like some tassels, some leather tassel fringe here, and it's really cool. And if you watch the trends video, this is going to be right on trend because it's a leather jacket, it's suede, and it has that Western um, style to it. So it has this whip stitching along the edge, and on the other side, it has like these, what would this be called, like a split cuff? And it's almost like a bell sleeve. But yeah, this is a really cool um, vintage jacket. Definitely 
I'm going to sell that for, I'm not sure, I didn't post the comps. A lot of vintage stuff, you just have to kind of base it off of similar comps, maybe not the exact same one. So I would say since it's leather, um, I would say anywhere between 30 to 50 or $60 range, just because that piece is pretty unique. Um, I kind of wish it fit me, but it's a small, so it's out of the question. So I found some of these, are these navy blue? Yeah, I think these are navy blue, uh, like jogger, windbreaker style uh, pants. And these are, if I can find the brand, Lululemon. Oh, and the jacket, by the way, that leather jacket was $10. So these are Lululemon, and I think they were a size eight. Yeah, size eight. And these are pretty cool. These might do better than like those other leggings that I got in the thread up box. Um, I'm not sure on the comps. I'm just going to say between 20 and $30. Um, and actually those items that I just showed, I went to this new thrift store that I hadn't been to in a while and it's a smaller thrift store, but they have like some of the best vintage clothes that I've ever seen. A lot of cool vintage clothes and it was packed. I went on Saturday and then I, then again I went, and then again I went on, today is Wednesday, I went again, or Thursday, and then I went on Tuesday. And it was literally the same amount of people in there as Saturday. So I guess the people in that area really know and love that thrift store because the prices are okay and they have a lot of cool unique stuff there. So the next items I got was this cool, um, like a, what is this, a quarter zip, quarter zip, athletic shirt i believe this is a men's um a men's shirt i can't really see what size it is but it cool k how do you spell this k u h l here's the logo right here and i do think that this is um a men's shirt probably like a medium or large um that one i think i paid like four or five dollars also and um let's see i'm estimating maybe between 20 and 30 dollars i'm not sure i have to do comps on it again and actually let me go get the other items that i purchased from this thrift store that were hard goods i'm back so as you know i do sell hard goods because i sell them on etsy i put them in my antique booth and i also sell them yeah that's it on etsy my antique booth okay so i picked up these super adorable butterfly vintage wheat glasses so this one is a smaller size i'd say maybe like four ounces and i i don't know if y'all be able to see the symbol on there but i think these are the brand libby and they also have like the bigger juice glasses there or maybe these are water glasses and these are juice glasses i i don't know but i picked up four of these little ones and like two of these bigger ones and my sister also got um two of these big ones and two of these little ones because she's like doing a butterfly thing so i thought these were so cute and i love the amber color i really want to keep them myself but i have a ton of vintage glasses in my collection the amber glasses because that's that's what i like the vintage amber glasses so i don't feel like I need those, but if they don't sell, which I'm pretty sure they're going to because it's like Boho MCM, um, they should do pretty good. And I actually think I listed the whole lot for $45 on Etsy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take those to the antique booth. I might try to sell them on Etsy first, but I don't know, I don't know yet. And then the next ones that I picked up are these um, vintage whiskey glasses. They have like rose, I think these are roses up here at the top and like flowers in here in the middle and i think these are um the brand was george's briard and actually i wasn't even going to pick these up but the comps were like anywhere between 30 dollars and 60 dollars so um I have a set of four, and I think I posted them on Etsy for about $40, so that's pretty good. I Oh, and by the way, I paid a dollar each 
for each cup, so $4. And then for these, I pay, these were actually 50 cents each. So um, yeah, that thrift store was pretty good. I'm gonna have to make that uh, my weekly routine. Um, the next item that I got was from a uh, garage sale. So it is this uh, fur, I don't, I think this is real, I have to look at the tag, but it's like a faux fur collar, and it's this black um, suede, almost like a penny lane jacket. I'm probably not even doing justice holding it up right now, but, but it doesn't have the faux fur on the collar, so I wouldn't call this a penny lane jacket, or maybe it still is called a penny lane, but yeah, anyway, so fur, faux fur collar, black suede body, it has the tie, and guys, this style, this style jacket sells extremely good for me. I've sold, um, I think maybe one or two similar style jackets like these, but they were the Penny Lane jackets and they did have the faux, the faux fur trim right here. Um, but this one is so, <laughs> reminds me, I think like Y2K, um, maybe even late 90s. I love this style of jacket. Um, I could totally see Lizzie McGuire or Miranda, her friend, wearing something like this for sure. But yeah, the brand is actually not even a brand. It just says Genuine Leather. <sighs> genuine Leather Made in Uruguay. And oh my gosh, it's just so nice. And that was only a dollar at at the at the what you want to call it the yard sale a whole dollar like yeah i would definitely buy those all day long because those typically sell for 50 or more for me um the next item that i have is a metallica shirt and i don't know it just says metallica on the inside I don't know if it'll come up. Metallica, I think it's a size medium. So just a basic Metallica t-shirt. I actually have this shirt. Now that I'm looking at it, I need to bring my shirt out because I haven't worn it in a long time. I actually have this one in my collection. So um, maybe like 20 bucks for that one. And I think I paid three to five dollars for that one. I'm not exactly sure how much it was. So the next item I got is a Gymshark size large. Um, like a sleeveless shirt tank top and i do think that this one is um i think i got this out of the men's section and i do think it is a men's shirt there if you can see the gym shark right there so um i haven't actually found a whole lot of gym shark and it usually sells between the 20 to 30 dollar range so um i'm not sure maybe that's what i'll be listing it as 20 to 30 dollars um the next shirt I have is a Smashing Pumpkins uh, shirt. Smashing Pumpkins, I think it's just the brand, size medium. I don't know if maybe like, it's like the Metallica shirt where um, it's not like an actual band shirt, but yeah, just Smashing Pumpkins, which is always nice. Uh, we love a good Smashing pumpkin shirt. Um, and the next item I have is another Ivy Park size small. Let's see if I can get the tag. Size small hoodie. This one was actually in the men's section um, of the thrift store. It just says Ivy Park. Now, I, I, I'm actually not sure if they do sell, uh, if they do make Ivy Park men's. I'm looking at this sweater and it actually does look like it doesn't look like a women's small, so I'll have to double check to see if they do make men's Ivy Park. But yeah, those other ones, as you saw in the last video, the set sold for 45 or 55, so that should get between 25 and 35. The next item I have is a vintage, vintage uh, Disney Mickey Mouse shirt, Mickey Unlimited size medium. And it has an embroidered Mickey Mouse right here. And it's just a yellow button up V-neck and actually feels like it's never been used. And it has another logo right here. Um, I kind of bought this on a whim because I wasn't 100% sure if this is something that is 
being sought after, but I could actually see someone on Depop buying this and styling it with a pair of vintage um, like button fly Levi's. Um, so to do like a straight leg Levi's with that 90s look. So I have a feeling someone out there might want it and um, the price I'm thinking is going to be 20 to 30 dollars maybe unless it's like something super rare but i'll have to do comps and double check the next item i have is a bobby jones 100 percent baby alpaca quarter sleeve or quarter zip sweater um i typically don't pick up a whole lot of men's clothes but i was over there looking at the t-shirts and hoodies and i saw this one it feels brand new actually and it's super soft um, and I researched comps and I think they were anywhere between like the 40 to $50 range. So I'm hoping that one actually does sell what <laughs> the, the comps were showing. So sometimes when I'm in a thrift store and I look up comps, the comps show me something different than when I get home and research it as I'm posting it a couple days later. And then sometimes they're higher or sometimes they're lower. So I'm hoping those comps were accurate. Um, so I guess we'll see. So in another thrift store, I picked up this vintage polo, what is it, Polo Sport Ralph Lauren quilted nylon tote. So if y'all remember the trends uh, video, totes, well actually it was extra large totes, but totes in general are going to be in style this fall. Um, and this Polo Sport, uh, like this 90s, I think it was from the 90s to early 2000s always sells pretty good for me um i have sold a backpack that like a mini backpack and that probably uh was better than this tote but i'm thinking maybe like 20 to 30 dollars for this and this one i can't remember how much i paid like four or five dollars i think it was now this one <clears throat> was at that first thrift store that i was telling y'all where i got the vintage um faded glory jacket i didn't even look up comps so i just got this vintage nokia like this uh nokia bag um it's definitely 90s because you can see the two-tone like teal and blue color it's definitely giving me 90s vibes and it can also be i guess like a belt bag because it has <clears throat> this like hole right here and you can probably put it through as a belt bag and the strap is removable but <clears throat> I thought maybe this would be like a cool um, bag for um, I don't know like a water park or a Disney or something and it has like this gray interior that looks like it might be insulated but I um, I actually don't even know I don't even know what this something like this would be worth um that might sell good on depop actually because um the colors and everything so i'm not sure so maybe i'll see that in a future video um a future what sold video <laughs> the next item i have is this black mountain outdoor sweater um let's see the tag black mountain outdoor i don't know if y'all can see that and I also got this from that first thrift store where it has some pretty cool vintage stuff. So um, it's basically, it looks like snowflake, like a snowflake pattern. And actually I can't decide if I wanna keep this or if I wanna sell it, but it's like a Sherpa full zip sweater. I think it's, I think it is pine cones. I can't really tell but it is pretty cool. I really like it. It's super soft. It's definitely vintage from the tag. And I'm not sure what this would sell for, to be honest. Um, I feel like there's another brand, like Patagonia, the Patagonia, whatever style it is that they make similar to this. I can't think of what it's called, but I paid $10 for that. I'm hoping that I can get at least like $40 to $50 for it, um, which I should. So hopefully that does good. Um, from that same thrift store, I got this other hard goods that I forgot, which is this vintage cat. Um, what would this be called? What is this? Um, 
like a, what am I, I'm having a brain fart. Um, well, it has these knobs right here to hang up stuff and it, you can stretch it out, make it smaller. I thought that this was really cool and the head actually does move. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't know <clears throat> if I'm going to put this in my antique booth or if I'm going to try and sell it online or maybe I'll just do both. But yeah, this one was $4, I think. Um, I don't know, $25 to $30 maybe I'll try and sell it for. Um, so yeah, that, that one's pretty cool. A little creepy, but also cool. So from the same thrift store, I got this Sedona, I guess Arizona shirt and it has this like embroidered uh, what are these people called? Kapalis? I can't remember, but, um, I figured that this might be a cool little, um, like a graphic shirt someone might want. I don't know if that one's vintage or not. Let me double check. Um, it actually does look like it's single stitch. So I think this one might be vintage actually. So that might help its chances of selling. And there's no stains on that one, so that one's pretty good. Uh, from the same thrift store, guys, I told y'all that thrift store was like, like um, a gold mine or something, because I kept finding a whole bunch of stuff there. So um, it's a vintage Robella's made in Texas, um, like a Western maxi skirt. So this is not, Okay, so my camera cut off as per usual. But anyway, I was showing all this vintage Rabella's made in Texas uh, tag. It's like a, it's like an Aztec uh, Western maxi skirt. I'm not sure if it's going to show up that good on camera or how I'm holding it, but basically it has like this tie and you wrap it around wrap it around like that and it's going to and it has like buttons right here i think it's gonna be like a high waisted because this is like really small so this looks like it's gonna be high waisted but i picked that up kind of on a whim before i even researched the um before i even researched the trend video so that one falls into the western theme so that one actually might do pretty good i don't know I don't know yet, we'll see. Uh, the next item I picked up was this vintage unlimited Marlboro uh, cigarettes duffel bag. I remember my parents used to get these when, they, when my mom used to smoke the cigarettes and it was like some type of point system. If you bought so many boxes, you saved like the tops or something and you cash them in for prizes. I can't remember off the top of my head how it worked, but they used to bring home all of these like duffel bags and backpacks, water bottles, jackets, all kinds of stuff like this. So um, when I saw this one, I actually didn't see that the comps were doing a, like extremely great but I thought that selling this on Depop might actually be where I could get a little bit more money just because, you know, the people on Depop, they like this type of stuff. Oh, and on the strap, it does have Marlboro there. Marlboro, or however you say it. Um, so I'm thinking maybe like 20 to 35-ish dollars, maybe a little bit more. I think I paid, I think that was $5. Um, the next item I have are some shoes. These are Club Monaco white, um, basic white um, sneakers, tennis shoes, um, <clears throat> all leather. And I believe these are men's. They're a size 8D. Club Monaco doesn't usually do <laughs> extremely great. So why did I pick these up, you might ask? I don't know. I thought white sneakers are nice. I don't know, these do look like they might be a mint actually, so um, these might sell. I don't know, I think they were $5, so I took a chance. I'm hoping to get like $35 for them, 
maybe a little bit more. <laughs> um, now the last, the last couple of items I have, I think I got from a uh, garage sale, I think. So I have these combat boots. Um, they are like a rhinestone combat boot and these are, uh, I think these are Betsy Johnson for Torrid. I can unzip this. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, Betsy. Torrid for Betsy Johnson. I don't think I'm gonna be able to even see in there. Um, I actually sold a similar pair of these not too long ago for like $50. Um, but those were like a size six and these are a size 10 wide. So these actually might do a lot better and these are super cute. Um, those are a little pricey at $10 at the garage sale. I was trying to work out a deal, but the lady was just like, nope, not having it. So um, I also picked up these from her. These are the ones that I previously sold for like $50, I think, 40 to $50. Like I said, they were a size six and these also are uh, toured for Betsy Johnson and these are super cute as well same size 10 wide also ten dollars and then the last pair of boots that I picked up from the same lady are these metallic Doc Martens um, I think these are the I'm not sure if these are the made in England ones but the soles look pretty clean the tip right here is kind of rubbed on metallic shoes or purses or whatever it does wear a lot quicker than like other types of materials. So um, for $10, I'd say it's not too bad. $10 is still really good for some Doc Martin shoes. And these actually are smaller than those other ones. These are a size six. So these actually, if my daughter doesn't like those or want them, then I'll probably sell those. So the Betsy Johnson's, I'm thinking anywhere between 40 to $60 for both pairs and these metallic Doc Martens. I have to check comps because honestly, I'm not even sure. Some Doc Martens are high, some are lower, but I think, uh, safe to say, I can make at least 50 bucks for those. Um, oh, I actually got these from a thrift store. So the next pair of shoes are Disney, um, Tom's and these are the snow white print. I've actually never seen this collab before. And a lot of times Disney stuff when it's collabed, um, does pretty good. And these are actually quite large. I think these are a size 12. Yeah. These are a size 12. They look to be pretty brand new maybe or maybe used once. I won't write that they're new. I'll probably use, I'll probably say used once or twice, but I'm not sure, maybe $30 on those. They might end up selling for a little bit more. And then the next pair of shoes, actually I have a little bit more pair of shoes that I got from a thrift store. So the next pair of shoes I have is LK Bennett London. And these are also white sneakers and these have like a polka dot print on them. They're all leather. I don't think I've ever sold this brand before, but when I researched comps, they were like, I think retail was like three or $400, which is insane. But the size is a size 40, which I think is like eight and a half. So these should do okay. I'll probably wipe both of these white ones down. Um, I think these were reselling for like 60 to $70. And um, I paid, what was it? $5 for, the, for both of those white ones actually. And then $5 for the Toms. And yeah, sorry, I keep forgetting to say prices. So the next pair of shoes I found are these Todd's shoes. These are like, what are they called? Driving moccasins? I can't remember, but they're like a kind of square toed and leather and Todd's is an expensive brand. Um, I think an expensive designer, but I don't know what size these are. Maybe like an eight or a seven. I can't find the size, but honestly, I don't know. I just pick up Todd's because it does retail for a lot, but I have a hard time selling it sometimes. So I don't know, maybe like $50 for these. Maybe I have to do comps and, and double check on those because I'm not 100% sure. Now, I think I showed these in a thrift with me, which are these New Balance shoes. They're, I think these are all, these are men's shoes because they are fairly large. 
they are size 11 um and these are our um international friendship through basketball what is the person's name on here it's on the other shoe um which is amy leon dory new york it's like a special collab and these actually look uh well they don't look brand new there's a little bit of dirt but they look very lightly used and these also go back to the fall trends which is um what did i say it was like vintage or retro sneakers that's what it was retro sneakers so these also fall into the retro sneakers and actually these kind of remind me of like the old school reeboks but anyway so the comps were pretty crazy um i sold i mean i sold i saw them selling like two hundred dollars i only looked it up like once and saw the two hundred dollars and just went ahead and purchased them new balance actually does sell pretty good if they're in good condition new balance i can get maybe 35 to 45 dollars for like regular sneakers so these um being that they are like a special collab with basketball or whoever that person is, I don't know, sorry, um, will probably um, do a lot better. But yeah, I will <laughs> probably get all this listed this week. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because I love shopping more than I love taking pictures and listings. So I don't know, guys, <laughs> but I'm going to try and get all of this listed. It's not too many items. And, um, I think that was everything that I purchased within the like last week I think it was for this week and like I said I was working on my Etsy shop because I hadn't listed anything in a while I had tons of dishes that I had to get listed and now that I've been you know selling on Etsy for a little bit I have come to find out that like actual dishes like dish sets plates and cups and stuff don't really tend to sell for a whole lot they don't really sell on the antique booth either so I think after I sell through these that I have I'm probably going to stop picking them up unless Unless, unless, unless <laughs> it's something, you know, like these uh, butterfly glasses, I will probably continue to pick up stuff like this. So it's just like a learning curve for me since I haven't done Etsy um, really or antique boothing really. So I'm still trying to learn and I'm still trying to buy a bunch of items, list them and get my numbers up. I think right now I have 195 items. So after I list everything here, I should probably have um, a little bit more than 200. I don't know exactly how many items these are. But anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel, like I said before in previous videos. And if you haven't watched the fall trends, go click on that and watch the fall trends. Or if you haven't watched any of my thread up videos, go watch that one. Um, go watch those. I, there's three of those, two videos for the 100 pound box and then one video for the shoe box. So yeah, please go watch my other videos and share <laughs> if you want to with your family and friends. And um, yeah, just comment down below if you know anything about uh, maybe these New Balance shoes or if you know anything about the Todd's or what your favorite item was. Just comment down below and let me know and I'll see y'all in the next one guys. Bye.